Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the my new USNS R2 that I just got. Um, it's out here in the living room for right now until I can get some mounting brackets, some, you know, restore it and stuff. Um, got visor, oh, the visors for it, two of them. Um, so, the only thing I'm mainly missing is some... Uh, uh, mounting brackets for it there's a 90 right there with all the uh cables come out we'll get to the back of the housing here in a, here in a bit um eight inch glass lens uh eight inch on the inside five and a half inch on the inside um here's the what's left at the top mount um it got cut off uh in service i believe this may have come off the union pacific if i'm not mistaken I don't know exactly where this came from, um, but this is a uh, two aspect uh, green and yellow. Um, so you see the casted number. This thing is way bigger in person. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Like here's my hand and stuff. Like I hope the video is able to do justice and stuff. Um, but yeah, it is it is huge. Like, okay, for example, it's passed up my knee, you know. Yeah, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to make uh you know, get you guys in the feel of how big this thing actually is and stuff. And this is my first time seeing one in person too, which is even better. So I'm gonna rotate this around, find a safe uh place to lean it up against, and we'll uh, open up the back. Okay, now that I've rotated it and propped it up. Uh, safely, uh, we can look at the back uh, back of the housing. We've got the the US and S if it would focus in. Oh my goodness, US and S Co. Made in USA. Um, the latch is a bit broke. Not sure what happened to that, but uh, plan on restoring that too. But um, we got vents. Uh, I need to look inside these vents and see. Oh, uh, these vents are trashed. Uh, if we're looking in. The vents from the outside, I can't really see any, anything much. Um, but um, so to open one of these and such, uh, what you do is take this out of the hole where a lock could go. Uh, probably put one of my screw locks or one of my restored locks on this. But you take it, you rotate it enough to where you just go ahead and slide it over. Now the hinge pins are a bit stiff. They're not bent, but they're just stiff. So if it was open correctly, you'd just be able to take it and slide open. But you gotta use a little bit of force. And yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, now that it's open, we can look in here. These are screens that are on the back of, on the inside of the door, which again, go to the vents on the back of the door. Uh, which surprisingly, the, all the screws for this are on here. Um, so that's good. Uh, let's go into detail of the housing. Uh, if I can get some uh, light in here, I'll show you guys. So, okay, this is not the best lighting in the world, but it'll have to do. Uh, so I don't have any bulbs for this at the moment. Um, need to get some bulbs for this. But you can see the uh, five and a half inch uh, yellow and the green. Um, the uh, lenses are held in by those uh, t these two screws with the flaps on them. These lenses are dated all the way back to 1935. So this signal head is probably from the 30s, if I had to, uh, get, if I had to guess. Uh, we got the terminal stripping in here. We got a resistor right there. Uh, that's the ground, actually, with the resistor. Uh, and then these two are for the green and yellow over here to the left. Um, and... Yeah, there's not too much going on here. Um, so, yeah. Um, I may try to take one of the glass lenses off and show you guys what those look like. So, uh, give me a minute. Okay, so after carefully... This is glass, so I'm going to be extremely careful with it. But after taking it out, this is what one of the lenses look like. And all you got to do is loosen those screws, rotate those uh, flaps... And this should come right out. It is a little bit tricky trying to get it out and stuff. Um, 
but let's see if I can try to find the uh, the date on here. Co these are co-op lenses too. Ah, oh, there it is. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says 19, 1935, five and a half inch lens. And the steps are on the outside too, as you can see, they're steps right here. And if we go ahead, I'll put this glass lens on my lap. The steps are on the inside here on this lens. This is what the inside of the lamp assembly looks like. And yeah. So to put one of these back in, you just simply carefully put it back in. If the flaps will get out of my way, there you go. And that's how you put it back in. Put these flaps back over, tighten the screws, and that's it. Okay, now that I've tightened it back up, the lens is back into its uh, place. Same thing goes for the top. I'm going to have to take the uh, green I may just be able to clean these from the inside, which I probably will, because I really don't feel that comfortable taking these out since they're glass. But yeah, it's a, all this. It's a lens on top of a lens. So if you, you know, you guys saw when I took the yellow one out and stuff. But yeah, these whole lamp assemblies can come out in one piece by taking that bolt and that bolt off. Same thing goes for the bottom one too. They're all mounted like that. And uh, we got the nice uh, US and S logo and that lead uh, right there. Um, yeah. And uh, this is exactly why they put screens on. This screen was actually doing its job. This, uh, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to clean this all out and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so I've got this cleaned out. I'm going to do the bottom one later. Um, this has also got the original rope gasket on the, uh, the door, too. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and close it back up. Um, get two, get a couple hands here. The door is pretty quiet when it shuts, so like, then you just close it. You swing this, and then you just tighten it up. And return the handle back into the hole where a lock could go. And uh, yeah, that's what the that's the whole ins and outs of a USNS R2 color light. Here's the pedestal right here for the uh, mount for the mount. And there's where the uh, hole for the bolt would go for the bottom mount and stuff and uh, yeah so again hope you uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed I'm gonna be taking my time restoring this uh, at some point and uh, but for before we end the video though I am gonna show you guys uh, the aspects with an incandescent flashlight uh, so yeah let's let's get to that because I want to show you guys what the colors look like okay change of plans I'm using an LED light bar for it, um, my incandescent flashlight wasn't bright enough for it, but there's the yellow, there's the green, and yeah, this is a really nice signal, and uh, we'll be making update videos on this quite frequently when I can, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.